<laughs> what is going on today? You're on one. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, <laughs> this might be one of my most hated videos for me to film. You guys saw it in the title. I'm gonna try to play every single shot as a draw. I mean, and if you guys know me, I like playing a fade. Might not always happen. I might have been, I've been kind of double crossing a lot of my shots lately, so I can see why you'd be con confused if I, if you thought I'd play a draw, but I'm out here at Bridalwood Golf Club again with my boy Shaler. He's helping me film. What up? But yeah, it's not really the, the shot that I'm the most comfortable with, but I, I obviously I know how to do it. Like I, I can pull it off if I really need to, but I think my goal for today, hmm, if I can get around this place, let's say one under par, just hitting draws. I'd be pretty happy with that. All right, we're starting the back nine here. Well, 10, we've got a little bunker on the left and uh, that's pretty much all you got. I was just doing prac swings for draw, uh, fades. I'm maybe feeling the draw here. No fades today. No fades, hopefully. Oh my God. <laughs> I had a lot of movement. I think it's in the bunker. I couldn't tell. Yeah, I, uh, I couldn't tell if it was over or not, but I think it's in. Dude, I've never seen you sling one that, that much. <laughs> that was a sling. I was not trying to move it that much, but that's why I don't really want to do this. All right, we got 126 yards. I got a pitching wedge. I've actually been drawing my wedges just regularly anyways, so it's because of the D-plane. I'll, I'll explain the concept behind the D-plane, but it's basically the attack angle. We'll get into it later, but I'm gonna hit a draw pitching wedge 126, so it's probably gonna be playing like a 120 or 135 shot. <laughs> Dude. I think I barely chunked that thing. You get like these weird, like thin lies off this stuff. Like there's like no room between the ball and the grass, which I know there's never really any room, but you know what I'm saying. Well, we got a long putt. It's like maybe 60 feet, 50 feet. Well, right to left. I guess every every one of my putts have to move right to left too, huh? Yeah, you gotta, gotta you gotta, gotta draw, draw them. putts. <laughs> I tend to do that anyway. So. <laughs> oh boy, that's gotta go a lot. Well, it's not a good start so far. I just came back from Oak Tree National. We were filming with the Guga guys. The greens were way faster and firmer than this. Which, no excuse. I should adjust pretty quickly. It's not very close there. All right. Please make a little right to left. Yeah. Looks like a probably outside the hole. Yeah. Kind of about what I'm see seeing. Let's try it. Mm. It's not a very good three putt there. Hey, at least it didn't bounce out like last time we played this <laughs> hole. <laughs> well, got to adjust for the speed. Got to get, got to get my lag putts better. That wasn't very good. I bet you love just working this draw right towards that hazard. Yeah, that's. There. I was just gonna <laughs> say. I mean, at least, at least I'm looking, like out to the right where there's pretty much nothing. I mean, I, I guess I could go out of bounds, but mm, yeah, that's pretty far nothing. right. I have pretty much the world on that right side if I just leave this out straight, but. If I do overcook this thing, this ball is swimming. <laughs> I was scared of the slinger. I, like aimed it plenty far right there, but that was a nice little, you know, pretty normal sized draw there. I guess uh, to kind of get into some of the reasons why I like playing a fade instead of a draw. One reason is because there's a little bit more spin on fade shots. And you might be wondering why do you need more spin? Most public courses, their greens are going to be real soft and receptive, and the ball is going to be landing soft with a draw or fade, whatever you hit, it doesn't really matter. But on courses with like firmer greens, you kind of do want that ball to land soft and have a little bit more control instead of kind of bounding over the green or whatever it's going to do. Like if if you hit a draw, it's going to have less spin. And it's going to have a little bit more like heat on the ball. I don't I don't really know exactly how to describe it, but it has more heat on the ball, and the ball just doesn't really want to stop as quick. I mean, I don't know exactly what the percentage is for tour players playing a fade or draw. I don't think we can really even look that up because I think some of them, they like to play both ways. Most of them don't. Most of them have one shot shape and they just hammer that shot shape over and over again. But I, I would guess that there's more players 
playing a fade um, because obviously if you're swinging it fast enough the distance isn't really that big of a deal and uh, you kind of do want more control coming to the greens anyways 45 winds off the right almost wind yeah feels like it's into off the right maybe As, i mean this sets up for a draw which is kind of nice. does huh except i don't know i wish that tree wasn't here oh this one yeah the low one 145 dude i don't know if nine iron's enough in the cold oh man that's a tough one into the wind off the right i feel like it's not but that tree's in your way a little i know <laughs> like i kind of want the height here but i think i'm gonna have to go with a pretty tight just a slight draw here. No slingers are allowed. Going to go with an eight iron. Take a decent amount off of it. Oh, come on, wind. Let me out. I, it looks all right. I mean, yeah. distance wise. Atta boy. You know what's kind of weird? The way <laughs> I'll tell you guys how I hit draws, which I'm not sure if I would really recommend all you guys doing this, but <laughs> you know how normally people are like, oh, you want to. What does it say? You want to aim where the ball starts and the, the club needs to be like where the where you want the ball to end up? Yeah, that's what they said. That, I, that's never worked for me. I mean, it, I guess it's worked, but like it just be snappers. Like it wouldn't get up in the air. It would have no height and move way too much left. This is weird. I, it works for me and maybe you guys can try it out. If it works for you, great. But like I actually aim up my feet about where, I mean, I kind of feel it, but I, it's about where that flag is or about where I want to land it. And then the face is where the ball's kind of starting out and so that difference between where my face is pointed and where my feet are pointed is kind of like the the amount of draw that i'm kind of visualizing if your club face is shut that ball's going to start left and if you're putting into out swing on it it's going to start left and go left like it just never really made any sense to me so instead of my face being left and then i'm visualizing my path going on the line of my club face which is out this way my club is actually open which is helping me visualize it going inside this way which is creating the into out path that's a decent shot. Pin oh, Heisman? I'd say so. It is Pin Heisman. We got a little uh, downhill putt action here. Should be moving right to left. Right around here is where it starts going downhill, but I am used to faster greens, so I don't know. It's, it's, it's going to be a little bit of adjusting going on here. I mean, I hardly even moved. Frick, man. Gave that a little too much respect with the line. Hey, nice putt. Bro, they gotta do something about this cup. <laughs> uh, that almost hopped out again. We'll, we'll have to replay the clip from the last video. Oh, that putt was freaking butt cheeks. <laughs> no way. <laughs> These cups are ridiculous. They'll just spit the ball out sometimes. It's kind of funny. I hate to have a tournament right here though. That'd be kind of scary. Imagine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would have shot 71, but I said 76 because the ball kept spitting out of the hole. Yeah, I got rejected. Let's get let's get nice and aggressive. It's a tucked right pin. Yeah, exactly. Hitting a draw <laughs> with a right to left win. So this is, I like uh, it. Yeah, this is not the flag to be hitting a draw on, but got my hands cuffed and I have no options. I have to hit a draw. Don't have a choice. Don't have a choice. We got 194 flag. It feels like it's a little down off the left, so. But I'm gonna go with the seven iron again, trying to draw it. Love it. Oh my gosh. Dude, I just. <laughs> oh, sit, sit. Dude, look at that. That ball just had so much heat once it landed on the green. It just yeah. like it just had no thought of stopping. I am a pretty good ways over the green here. I think it recently rained here too, so it's a little bit uh like the foundation of the grass or the dirt's a little bit soft. Got to clip this one nice. Get left. Is that a little short? Yeah, it is. Oh man. It's just a little tougher controlling controlling draws into the greens, I feel like, in my opinion. A little left or rider. Got the grain going that way too. It looks like this ball's end up a little too far out to the left, but grain's going right, so just gotta trust it. Hey! 
Hey, cart, shut up. The cart is literally cheering for you right now. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Oh, bro, that was such a clutch save. I know, that was right in the heart, too. That, that cart is literally having a spasm right now. A little spasm. It just stopped. All right, so we got a par five. Pretty dead straight. We got water left and OB right. Fairway somewhere in between those. Hopefully it's fairway. Hopefully. I'm very happy with that one. I was not feeling very good off that, on that tee shot. <laughs> yeah, I think they heard you were doing a draws only video and they put all the pins <laughs> on the far right edge of the green. <laughs> this is not a good flag for that right here. All right, I understand it's 120 to the tree. I don't care about the tree. I don't know. What is this number? Well, it says 244 to the back hill, 220 to the front hill thingy. So flag is like two, let's say 230. 230 wins like off the right down. Dude, this is a scary shot. I don't like hitting the draw for this. Yeah, well, you, you got to finish it left of the pan. Yeah. I'm thinking four iron. I feel like four might be a little too much, but I, I don't want to mess with that water short. So yeah, let's try it. It might be just off the green, but it's actually a pretty good, pretty good shot. <laughs> Could not leave that ball out to the right, or else that'd be proper screwed. All right, that ball also had no, no thoughts of stopping. It was just, <laughs> it was kind of a slinger. It just kept on going left, which I'm not unhappy about. But we got a chip shot here. It's about pin high. The wind's kind of working into us. I think we're gonna go with the bump and run here. Go, 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 go. Dude, I'm giving these greens too much respect, man. Okay. What is this putt doing, Shaler? Great question. Um, oh, it looks like where you're standing, it looks like it wants to go to this, your left. This way, right? Yeah. And oh. I feel like it straightens out at the end. Um, yeah, that's what I see. All right. Let's see if we can drain this. Hey. Dude, that had a lot of heat on it. I don't know how that caught the lip. <laughs> I thought it was going to lip out. Let's go. Wow, two holes in a row. Making some uh, mid-range putts today. Putter saving you. Yes, sir. Dude, I'm glad I don't normally play a draw because I guess I'm just looking at like a big slinging draw. That's why I, I feel like I don't have that much room. But we got a drivable par four. Today it's probably not quite drivable. We can get pretty close, but bunkers on the right, water left. House is right. <laughs> you love to talk about all the trouble. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, there's a there's a fairway somewhere in there. <laughs> Ooh, a little baby draw. A little baby draw. The toddler came out. If it's in that greenside bunker, that I will take that. Yeah, front pan, that should yeah. be a simple shot. Should be pretty straightforward. Did you say toddler draw? Yeah. I thought I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> also, another reason why I like playing a fade uh, over a draw is because, at least for me, this is a, this might be a little bit more of a personal thing, but for me, I feel like I can swing left as hard as I want. As long as I have good depth with my hands at the top, I can, I can swing left as hard as I want, and there's kind of, it, at least in my mind, it feels like there's a limit to how far left I can swing. Whereas <laughs> with these draw swings, I feel like I can swing more and more and more into out. Like there's no limit to how much I can swing into out. Cause there's no like, there's nothing, there's nothing kind of keeping me away from like swinging more and more into out. Whereas with a fade, as again, as long as I have the correct depth with my hands at the top, it's pretty hard for me to swing too far left. So th that's why it kind of feels more comfortable to me mentally to, to play a fade. All right, well, I am short of this bunker because I hit it short and I'm a little I do have some room to work with though over here. I just gotta catch the ball clean because this is, I don't know, it's just that, it's just the, the wet like soil underneath is kind of, makes it a little difficult. Bite hard, bite hard. Woo! Yeah, that'll play. That club like just stuck right into the ground. 
came out a little lower than I wanted, but as long as it had the spin, it was good. I knew I couldn't go that high though, because that lie just wasn't allowing me to do it. But let's see if we can get in the red numbers here finally. Noise. All right. It's a pretty solid hole right there. I'd see, say. See if we can continue it on to the next one. Also, real quick, YouTube Analytics was telling me that only 60% of you guys are subscribed. If you guys have watched at least three of my videos, what are you guys doing? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And uh, let's get right on back to the video. All right, y'all. On our sixth hole, which is, we're on the back nine here today, so 15. Uh, it's a, this is a dog league right. And uh, houses are over there to the right, which is about, more or less, about where I'm looking to start this ball. <laughs> Wind's off the left, too. It is. I guess I don't have to go that close. Oh god. Settle. 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 I have no idea if that bunker's in play or, or, or what. I, I don't think I've ever been in that bunker. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird bunker to be yeah, in. Yeah, that's not very good there. A little too much snappage. Alright, we got 120. Uh, wind feels like it's off the left and Maybe a touch of help. So I'm going to go with the 50 degree. Probably trying to hit this thing like 115-ish. And uh, again, I, I'm used to hitting draws with my wedges now. I've been doing this for about maybe half a year to maybe a year now. Uh, I said this earlier in the video about the D plane. So basically, I'll explain it now. So I won't get into that much detail about exactly what it is. You guys can look up, search it up, Google D plane, and you guys can kind of nerd out about all that. But basically... When you have your attack angle going further and further down, your path actually skews a little bit more into out. Versus like if, you're, if your attack angle is going up, your path actually skews a little bit more out to in. And so that's why you'll see a bunch of guys, they like to fade their drivers because the attack angle is upwards, which skews your path out to in. So it's easier to fade a driver, basically. And then their three wood, they'll use it as almost like their draw club because it's not as upward of an attack angle. Three wood's a little bit more of a down or maybe neutral uh, attack angle so they can kind of get that path working into out and get that draw that they want to see but I don't really do that for three woods and really irons I don't really do it either I like to fade my irons but wedges I've noticed it's noticeably harder for me to fade wedges so I just play a draw with the wedges because that attack angles a little bit into the ground there so 115 gap wedge Let's see what we can do be good all right, a little short, a little short. I'll take it though. Let's see if we can make it. We got a par five coming up too. If we can make this and make take advantage of the par five, pretty good. All right, Shaler, we got a, about a 15 footer. I think it's moving quite a bit right to left, um, but the greens are a little bit slower than what I'm what I'm used to. So it should should be slightly straighter than I think maybe. But man, I feel like there's a lot of turn there at the end. Well, we're about to find out. Either. Oh! Couldn't get that many lip ins today. Wow, that was kind of a power lip, too. That was a power lip. <laughs> Spat it out there to the left. All right, let's clean this up. Hey, hey, hey. Settle down there. Dude, just these, go in the hole. These cups. <laughs> <clears throat> We've been talking about it. They are dangerous. It's kind of funny. On to the next hole, to par five, like I said. The next hole actually draw, um, sets up real nice for it because there's a stupid little bunker that I get into every single time because, because I hit a fade. We'll see, probably doesn't even make any difference. I'll probably hit a draw into that same bunker. <laughs> If you guys are amateur golfers or junior golfers that are really trying to you know, get better and play college golf or really just anyone who's trying to improve the game, obviously these YouTube videos, I'm, I'm just, it's a little bit more for the entertainment side of things. I'm not really going into that much detail, but my course manager program goes into way more detail than I'm doing out here. Not only just the shots that I'm hitting at that time, I'm actually moving around the flag and showing you guys different wind and green conditions and, and giving you guys the mental tips that I've learned as a professional golfer to handle pressure and come up in clutch moments. Here's a little sneak peek that you guys can check out right here. So here, I feel like I'm into the wind here, but I'm looking at my compass here and it says south would mean that the wind is coming from the right, but I'm looking at the flag and the trees and they both look like the wind is blowing into instead of from the right. So here is one of the few cases where I 
if you guys want to check it out, there, I actually have a free version of the course management program. It's not the real version, but the free version is in the top right corner, or I'll put a link in the description for that. I also have my swing program. If you guys want help with your golf swing, I have that linked in the description as well. All right, par five, like I said, pretty, pretty straight, bunker on the right. Let's see, what, see what happens here. Oh boy, settle, settle, settle. <laughs> I was a little overcooked there. Yeah. But I mean, last time we were there, my ball was in the hazard, but still like playable. So yeah, we'll see. Let's see if we get that. Yeah, see if we get lucky two times in a row. No way, no way. No, <laughs> Dude. you might be the luckiest golfer on YouTube. This, is, <laughs> this happened Actually, twice in a row now. There's not a large sample size, so I'm gonna say you are the luckiest golfer. <laughs> Oh wow, and I have a, a perfect draw shot too, actually. Yeah, you do. I mean, this ball was hooking hard. I just thought it was gonna be wet, cause like, the, the further of, you go. Yeah, the amount of heat it had, like just going straight yeah. left. But, all right. good thing you hit it short enough. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we got 232 flag, wherever that is, I can't see it. 232 flag, 210, cover the bunker. It's gotta be slinging. I think I'm gonna go with a four iron. I think four even might be a tad bit too much, but we got wind off the left, so I think it's gonna take just a touch off the draw. Holy cow, did that's fucking. Did I just do it? Maybe. I mean, I hit it good and everything. Like if anything, that's too far left, isn't it? Oh, really? I only saw for a little bit. It was hooking pretty good, dude. <laughs> Let's go. I hope it's up, I don't, I don't know. Dude, I, I actually can't believe that's short. We're, we're short of the green. I don't mind it though. Looks like a pretty decent lie. Pretty straightforward chip. I just can't, probably can't see the green from down there. So it's somewhat blind. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. I tried to be a little bit more aggressive with that chip. Is that too aggressive? Nope, you're at perfect distance. Sweet. Adjustments. Oh, that was nice. Let's see if we can make this thing. What are you at, one under? Yes. One undie. One underwear. <laughs> Guess what, Shaler? What? Don't know what this putt's doing. Eh, classic. <laughs> I think it's going right to left. I agree. The grain's kind of moving it that way as well. Yeah, because I saw that from down there, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. And I think I see the same thing from here, so. It's not a whole lot though, isn't it? I think, I think if you put it like on the right edge, it's good. I agree. I'm thinking like inside right, right edge, something like that. Yeah. We'll give it a go. Mm. Yeah. Tasty. Tasty. Another solid birdie. Very nice. I was a little worried after that tee shot. I know. I got away from <laughs> I, you a little bit. I was too. We kind of... Dude, I feel like we got away with one there. We really did. Like, I mean, you were like 10 yards left of where you were last time. I know. And with like heat going left yeah. too. We'll take a birdie. Hey, we'll take it. But now we got two more holes, two hard holes. So I want to feel like I ran out of holes instead of, you know, limping in, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I, I get you. Yeah. I get you. I'm not sure if there's a right club. 215, wind's kind of off the left. I don't really think it's helping or hurting. I think it's straight off the left. I got a four iron. Hmm. What do you think, 220 club? Um, I thought it was hurting, but but I'm not really Yeah, it kind of does look like it, huh? That so, one. I mean, I just think you would have to hit that pretty hard. You are drawing it, which tends to go further. If it bounces forward, I like the four. I kind of like the four. All right. Just because of the fact that it's going to be cutting through that wind a little bit. But yeah. We'll try it out. Again, draw shot. Oh, settle. Look at that wind holding it up. I kind of necked it, which I'm I'm surprised it still drew it, even though I yeah. almost shanked that thing. Looks like an easy-ish chip shot, but I'm not sure how close that flag is to the front, so... Makeable. Hopefully. Because if you don't make this, I'm going to be very angry. Angry. All right, Ernst. I'm Ernst. <laughs> Got a chip shot a little bit down. I was going to say downhill. Yeah, it looks about a little bit downhill. Roll my tight grass right here. Going to have to clip it nice. And if you guys know me, this isn't really my favorite type of chip shot. A little, you know, small swing chip shots. A little left to right.
You won't. You won't. Yep. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> what is going on today? I, I don't know. You're on one. <laughs> and literally walking up here, I was like, all right, you better make this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I feel like I haven't really hit that many good shots today. <laughs> I just feel like I've made a couple putts. I chipped in. Dude, I mean, this is... video is supposed to be about me, like, hitting draw shots, and it's more like my short game's kind of taken over. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> and it's making you second-guess yourself now. I know. <laughs> You're like, well, I haven't hit any double crosses. I'm oh. playing good. Might have no. to switch to the draw. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even want to plant that thought. No, it's got too much heat on the greens. Also, a lot of these draws I've been hitting today have been <laughs> moving a lot. Kind of gross. Right? Honestly, yeah. all the, almost all the drivers have been... They've had some heat on them from yes. right to left. Yes. Not very easy to control coming into these yeah. fairways, especially if the if it's kind of tight and it just runs into the rough pretty easily. Yeah. Or like hazards. It's weird saying this now that I'm at the score that I'm at right now, but I just feel like hitting draws is like harder to do consistently. You know, like that's kind of like what I was saying earlier. It's like I feel like over the course of time, if I keep on doing this, like that draw will just get bigger and bigger and bigger because I just feel like I can just swing more and more inside to out. Like when I was in college, my coach kind of switched me over to a fade. My friend Charlie Saxon, you, which you guys have probably heard of if you guys are OG subscribers, he, he was hitting a cut and it was obviously playing well and I just kind of switched over to that because I noticed he wasn't like losing any distance off of playing a cut and the ball would la land softer and everything. So I just think it's, it's harder to hit draws more consistently. I agree. <sighs> All right, Shaler, we are on the last hole. Uh, you guys will hopefully see in the drone shot Dude, honestly, driver might not even be to play because there's water yeah. left and there's water right and there's bunkers kind of middle right. This hole like shapes over to the right. I want to say that. It's a dog leg right. <laughs> I just feel like if this driver is going to be slightly overcooked, it's going left water every yeah, time. Yeah, and I don't think you need driver. Like, I agree. You're going to have a wedge in probably even with three wood. I agree. Maybe nine iron. but it's, Yeah, maybe like nine or eight or something, but still, like, it's not that tall of a task to hit an eight iron. We'll go with the three wood. Get over the bunker somehow. There's no chance it gets over the bunker. It stayed right of it. <laughs> and it bounced. I'm getting so lucky today. This is kind of annoying me. <laughs> Don't you just hate when you get lucky? <laughs> it just sucks. <laughs> All right, we got 143 flag. Wind is hard off the left. Uh, pin looks like middle-ish. 143. I think I'm gonna go with a nine iron. Draw it into the wind, so it should take some num some yardage off. Some numbers. Some numbers. <laughs> should take like I don't know, ten numbers off ten. of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, stay short, stay short, stay short. Sit. I'll take it, unless I'm standing in the bunker. <laughs> Sounded chunky. Yeah, it was. Well, dude, this ball was like. I'm not gonna lie, if it was right here, it probably would have rolled in. Yeah, but here you go, being the luckiest golfer on YouTube. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on today? We got a chip shot off this tight stuff. At least it's not wet, it's kind of dry. So, pretty basic chip shot. Let's see if we can cozy it on up in there. Settle. It's pretty good there. Very nice. I'll take that. Pretty glad that ball didn't go in the bunker, honestly. Yeah, that would have been rough. Dude, I, I, okay, anyways. All right, just to do some cleanup work here. A little three footer for, for the par. Finish out the round three under. Yep. All right. Well. Dude, I did not expect that out of today. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Especially after the first hole. Yeah. I was like, you're not getting a three under. <laughs> yeah, with those two quackers basically they weren't yeah. really quackers but they were slinging a lot and it's a cold day out here today too yeah not easy honestly this is not how i envisioned this video to go <laughs> like i thought i kind of struggled out here a little bit i thought one under would be a pretty solid score for being pretty uncomfortable over the ball but i guess i'm a little bit better at drawing the ball than i than i thought at least i know i have it in my bag but appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end if you've made it all the way to the end Make sure you give me a like. It really helps me out when you guys do that. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And I'll see all you guys in the next one.
Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker. And if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. And in this one, I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf. And these are the things that I wish I knew a long time ago. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support me and my journey, it'd be awesome to have you as one of my patrons where you get access to a private group where I do live streams after my tournament rounds, have exclusive content for patrons only, and even do the occasional giveaway with signed putter head covers. Information about that is also in the description below.